Hi guys, this is Darren from Whole Type PR. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what music PR is and how it works. <laughs> yeah. Music PR is essentially amplification of a message. So it's your band's um, forward facing message, as in who you are, what you're about, your inspirations, how long you've been together, the kind of music that you make and why you make it. And it's an ampl amplification of that to a wider audience to try and resonate with people and bring them into your, to your fan base. In order to do that, a PR agency needs information and it also needs time and it also needs to have a very clear measurable um, set of goals or actions um, that they want to accomplish as part of your overall campaign. Now, that's not really difficult insofar as it's easy to say what you want. At the end of the day, what you want is people to discover you, love your music, fall in love with the, the band, come and see you live, listen to you, stream you, buy your merch, buy your CDs. The campaign is usually based around a very easy goal, as in promote this album release, promote this EP, or promote this single. So, some of the information that a PR company would typically need to do that. Some basic assets would be up-to-date press shots, which must be in colour. So try to make these as interesting as possible and, and in keeping with your brand. In some genres, especially metal, for example, it's quite common to see the same kind of images coming up all the time with people kind of standing in the same kind of formations with the same backgrounds behind them. And there, it, there's very little originality there. So you have to try and be different while at the same time keeping on brand. But the most important thing is that the images are high quality and can be changed in terms of format. They must be in colour because press don't like to use black and white shots for magazines in particular, and they must be, and they must be attention grabbing. So think about what you're wearing, think about the lighting, and maybe think into hiring a professional to do that for you if you can't do it yourselves. We also need up-to-date bios. Now bios are a hard one because they're vital, but they, they are quite hard to get your message across. So it's not, easy, it's not always easy to write a bio. But that's obviously where PR can come in to help you. At the end of the day, what you're trying to do is convey who you are and what you're about in very clear, concise and interesting ways. But you're also trying to avoid vague language. So you don't want to come across as we are seeking world domination or something like we felt like we were destined since birth to be the greatest rock band in the world. All these kind of wishy-washy, vague, massive ideas don't really mean anything. We'll need a copy of the lyrics to the song. It's really important that as much as possible, you avoid putting swearing in your songs. That's not to do, that's not to discourage anyone who has a strong affinity for swearing in their music if it's again part of part of their own message and what they think is important. But you're only gonna have to create an, a radio edit of that song because you're not allowed to swear on the radio, and you're only gonna have to do like a, a re-edit of your video as well if you're promoting your music video to go along with that track because you're not allowed to advertise any songs with swearing in it either. So you're just kind of making more work for yourself. And at the end of the day, isn't it just easier to try and find a new way of just saying fuck? And finally, we need tour dates. We need to know what you're doing yourselves to promote this, what, what's attached to it. That's why I said at the beginning that PR is amplification. We can't amplify something, we can't shout about something that's not there and it's not happening, we can't just make it up. So there has to be something going on. Where are you playing? How long are you playing for? Come on, what are these tour dates? Who are you playing with? What countries are you going to? Like the bigger, the better. Obviously, that's that makes the whole thing easier. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, go out there, book the shows yourself if you have to. If you don't have a booking agent, you need to have stuff going on around the release. There's no point in just releasing a song to no one because it's not going to get traction. And at the end of the day, you're not going to want to pay a PR to do their job. Um, you're going to be wasting your money if you don't give them the tools necessary to do the amplification process. So. That's also a kind of another video really of how to know when you're ready and um, I'll make one for that. But I hope that's been helpful and if you have any questions, you can always get in touch with me and you can get in touch with the company. All the details are in the link below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.